Welcome to the third grade math homework help presentation. Times change, technologies change, and knowledge changes about how to teach kids to apply what they know to real life situations, which means they are learning subjects in some ways that leaves us as parents scratching our heads at our child's third grade homework. Today, your kids are learning a subject like math differently. They will still learn formulas and equations, but they will be using new techniques like visualization to help kids get a firmer grasp of math earlier. So no matter what Algebra 2 or pre-calc problem they encounter, they will have a fundamental understanding of how math works. This change is critical for your kids. More kids will get math. More kids will stay with it. More kids will go further with it and be able to staff the jobs of tomorrow. We know you want to be able to help your kids with their homework, that you might need help in getting up with what your kids are learning. This presentation will provide you with insight as to how to support your child with homework. Are you wondering, why is this confusing? What is this? Where can I get help? Well, help is on the way. There's nothing better than seeing your kids succeed. And there's nothing worse than not being able to help them when they're struggling. Math may look different now. Times change, technologies change, and knowledge changes about how to teach kids to apply what they know to real life situations. This presentation will help you become a math superhero. You probably have questions such as, what are the benefits of math homework? How much time should students spend on homework? What can homework look like? What resources are available to support parents? This presentation will help answer these questions. What are the benefits of homework? For students, homework should deepen understanding and solidify skills and concepts learned in class. For parents, homework should communicate what students are learning. It's an opportunity for parents to help their children build study habits. For teachers, homework should give teachers feedback about students' learning. It should help guide decisions about what math instruction students need. Does your child spend all night at the kitchen table doing homework? Well, the school district of Hillsborough County provides parents and teachers with specific guidelines as to how homework should be utilized at each grade level. For third grade, homework should not exceed a total of 30 minutes per night. Homework should be coordinating between teachers so it does not exceed the recommended amount of time devoted to homework. In other words, the 30 minutes for a third grade student is for all subjects, not just math. So what could third grade homework look like? Characteristics of any math homework should include the following. Kids should have the skills needed to complete the homework independently. Homework should be practice of learned content. Communication between teachers and parents should be ongoing. And assigned tasks should strengthen understanding. Homework may come in many different forms. Examples of third grade homework will be shared on the following slides. Homework may come from the textbook. Notice it has opportunities to reinforce new learning as well as a review of previously learned content called a spiral review. Homework could be real world application of a skill. Your child may be asked to find materials within the home to model a number sentence or equation, or they may be asked to solve real world problems and explain their thinking. Your child may also be asked to problem solve through a task and use active thinking to determine all of the possible solutions when there is more than one correct answer. In this example, students are asked to identify all the fractions equivalent or greater than 4 6 in a problem solving scenario. This reinforces the idea that kids should think critically and flexibly. To show active thinking, they would draw a model or justify verbally why the answers they chose were correct and the answers they didn't choose were incorrect. Your child may also be sent home with a game to play to reinforce the content they learned. Directions should be clear and all needed materials should be common household items or sent home to play the game. Sometimes the types of homework may include a process question where the answer is not the most important thing, rather how you can arrive at a correct answer. In this example, the child is asked to identify all the possible ways to determine the area of the bathroom. A, B, D, and E are possible ways to determine the area. To support your child with their homework, it is important to ask questions. Questions to ask your child as they are working on homework include, let's estimate before you solve, is your answer reasonable? What other problems have you solved in the past that might help you solve this problem? What are you trying to find out? 
What is happening in this problem? Tell me in your own words. What does the number or numbers in the problem represent? The document on this slide is another tool to use to ask additional questions. These questions are open-ended and can be applied in all areas of mathematics. An additional support tool that we have for parents are the parent flyers. Each unit has a parent flyer to provide additional information on the content. This is an example of a third grade parent flyer. This can be sent home by the teacher or there is a website parents can visit to get all flyers grades K through 5 for each unit. Each flyer provides a description of the learning that will occur during the unit. It may provide narrative as well as pictures of strategies taught. For each parent flyer, there is a parent video that provides further clarification of the content and strategies addressed within the unit. It can be found by clicking the link or downloading the app to view. Also included in the flyer will be helpful links and websites that you can access from home to support your child with their learning. Each parent flyer will also provide you with sample tasks that outline the types of work that your child engages within the classroom. Furthermore, each parent flyer provides purposeful practice ideas that can be applied at home to reinforce the skill and or concept. Online resources are another tool provided to parents to support your child's learning. Here are some examples of online resources that can be accessed from a home computer to support your child's learning. LearnZillion includes over 3,000 math video lessons and related resources. Think Central Online is a resource for students to access the online component of the GoMath textbook from home. Lastly, all parent flyers can be found on the school district website. We hope this presentation provided you with the knowledge and information you need to be your child's biggest advocate. To continue advocating for your child, it is imperative that you establish communication with your child's teacher, ask questions such as, what are the upcoming topics in math? What math topic causes my child the most difficulty? How could I best support what is happening in the classroom? Should my child be able to complete the homework on their own? I'm worried about why he can't finish the problems. What might we do to help him? If my child is struggling with homework, how should I communicate this to you? How does my child receive feedback about their homework? Thank you for joining in today. This publication was made possible in part by a grant from Carnegie Corporation of New York. The statements made and views expressed are solely the responsibility of the author.